my practice in general um, relates to three main keywords, which is place, memory, and identity. Place acts as my source of inspiration. So usually, I would travel around with a camera, and I would then take photographs of man-made structures, and then translating them into my um, work. For me, I feel um, printmaking relates a lot to my interest in memories. I see printmaking not as a mode of reproduction, I see it as a way of preserving something. So in this case, preserving memories. Because first of all, you start making an image onto a matrix, which is what we call a printing plate. And then once you've done it, that image is fixed onto that printing plate. And then through that, you would transfer that print onto whatever medium, paper, canvas. And it's through that transfer process, reminds me of how one strives to preserve a memory or preserve a certain moment, so to speak. I like to believe that uh, balance plays a, you know, um, a, a role in my practice. You know, I, like, I don't like to limit myself, I like to explore both ends of the spectrum. And I believe that through this balance, um, a new entity will emerge from it. So that's, in a way, what I'm trying to do, which explains the clean cut shapes and forms juxtaposed with the chaotic abstract mark makings. Um, and also because you can see them as me investigating different elements of my subject. So those clean cut shapes and forms are me investigating the physical properties of structures, you know, such as weight, shape, um, balance, counterbalance, and in contrast to the abstracts, mark makings, they are just me um, having a general response from a place itself. They're mostly my memories and also my train of thoughts. Um, yeah, actually I would like to say, I would, I would like to see them as my train of thoughts because, you know, every day we're alive, we're thinking and stuff and all these drawings are just, you know, traces of me being alive in the present. <laughs>